This lecture is LGBTQ plus in sci-fi. First, we'll talk about queer sci-fi authors, then LGBTQ plus sci-fi history, representation of LGBTQ plus in sci-fi, and queer sci-fi difficulties. First is LGBTQ plus sci-fi authors. Many popular science fiction writers have identified as LGBTQ+, and a lot of the themes in science fiction novels themselves originate from the life experiences of the LGBTQ+, community. Queer authors write about their experiences, including escapism, marginalization, sexual desire, superintelligence, feminism, deviant desires, and more. One of the most influential LGBTQ+, sci-fi writers was Fletcher Delancey. She was a science fiction and lesbian novel writer. One of her books include Outcase from 2018, Mac vs. PC, and the award-winning series Chronicles of Alessia. Another influential queer sci-fi writer was Tom Trotton. He is a film and television actor and science fiction writer. Notable films include The Cardinal and the television show Frontier. One of his noble, notable books include The Other from 1971. Another influential uh, sci LGBTQ sci-fi writer was a transgender author, Charlie Jane Anders. She wrote short stories like The Choir Boy from 20, 2006 and Six Months, Three Days in 2011. She's also a publisher of the magazine Other. Sci-fi LGBTQ plus history. Portrayals of the LGBTQ plus characters didn't become relatively common in science fiction until after the early successes of the gay liberation movement in the 1970s. Most of those early LGBTQ plus characters were only hinted at, keeping their identity hidden. Homosexuality was illegal nearly everywhere in the world and was highly punishable. To play it safe, queer authors hid their queer characters with subtle hints like portraying their same-sex interests with their significant glance, a passing comment, or a bit too much interest in the other character. The 1930s through 1940s were a hard time for the LGBTQ writers. Homosexuality was often correlated with the Nazism during this time, as seen in books like Sinclair Lewis's It Can't Happen Here, that touches on some of the themes linking homosexuality to Nazi totalitarianism. In 1950s through 1960s, however, it brought many more positive portrayals of the LGBTQ plus in sci-fi literature. The decade also saw the, near, the early publications of the first openly gay and lesbian genre authors of the modern period, including Samuel Delaney, Joanna Russ, and Thomas Dish. Their stories and novels, as well as those of other progressive writers in the field, paved the way for new perspectives on sexuality and gender in science fiction. This is a queer representation in sci-fi. Carmela is considered the first lesbian vampire story with many LGBTQ plus characters that were gay with lesbian and bisexuality characteristics, and it was released in 1872. Carmilla has something of the Irish banshee. She feels a pull towards Laura's family and ancestry. Not only is Laura in danger of dying through her contact with Carmilla, but there is a fear that she could become a lesbian. It had a strong lesbian aspect for when the book came out. In, in the show adaptation, Laura and Carmilla are considered on and off girl girlfriends. One of the most recent representations of LGBTQ plus in sci-fi is Loki. Loki is canonly bisexual and gender fluid in the Marvel comics. He says, my culture does not share your concepts of sexual identity. There are sexual acts. That was quoted in the Young Aven Avengers in number 15. He's also referred to the child of both by the king of Asgard when he is in his female form. Valkyrie is another Marvel character in Marvel who is canonly bisexual. It's teased that archaeologists Annabelle Riggs and Valkyrie have romantic feelings for each other, but Annabelle dies before they pursue their relationship. When Odin places Valkyrie and Thor as their mortal slaves, they fall in love till death. LGBTQ plus and sci-fi difficulties. There has been concern raised about the lack of explicit LGBTQ plus representation in science fiction novels themselves. The issue is gaining in prominence today when the science fiction genre is prevalent in science fiction. Whenever a gay character is included to a new release of a novel, 
considerable press and commentary follows. Having gay characters in science fiction writing challenges the perception of homosexuality adopted by the public. Unfortunately, including homosexual characters often means that they are portrayed as flamboyant, sissy, or effeminate. Reflection Queer representation in sci-fi literature has grown over time, influenced by social changes. Through the 1900s and 2000s, there was much rise in gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender characters. Though historically once a touchy subject, we can now see LGBTQ plus representation in sci-fi everywhere. There has been some issues with the rise of LGBTQ plus characters in sci-fi literature, starting with the blatant homophobia to the now more current rep misrepresentation of the LGBTQ plus community. We see characters that are defined by their sexuality and are exceedingly flamboyant. Writers are beginning to create original characters with multiple complexities and not have their characters dominated by their sexuality. The reasons for these issues could be lack of awareness or be determined by the writer's experience and perspectives. Yet the rise of LGBTQ plus representation in sci-fi, fiction, and fantasy are becoming more widespread every year. With today's changing society, we see more acceptance for LGBTQ plus characters in science fiction and more correct representation of the community. In this genre, the more negative portrayals have turned into a positive and safe place for the queer community as queer science fiction becomes more and more popular.